So I did a return trip from Sydney to New Zealand yesterday and uh, this is the flight plan for the first sector which was from Sydney to uh, Queenstown. You'll see the distance is 1078 nautical miles and the flight time was 2 hours and 10 minutes so our speed was roughly 500 knots average and that's because we had a, uh, a slight tailwind the whole way. But um, what I was able to do is just a few little experiments on the way just to address some of these uh, flat earth um, claims. Now I have this little bad elf Pro GPS. It was running the whole time and I was able to record the entire flight. I'm going to make a separate video just detailing that but um, what I've got uh, is a short video showing that it's actually working perfectly when we're flying right between Sydney and New Zealand. So hundreds of miles away from any land. And uh, I've already managed to download the, uh, the GPS log onto this app which is the Bad Elf app and that shows you the, uh, the track information. And as I said, I'll, uh, I'll spend a bit more time um, making a detailed video just on that flight because I can download a KML file from the GPS, which records every single point. It was recording every 10 seconds. And you can replay back the entire flight in uh, Google Earth. But uh, anyway, we'll leave that for another time. What I want to show you now is just a few of the little experiments that I did. And one of them was just as the sun was setting on the trip back to Sydney, the, uh, looking out the left of the window, that was what we could see. And you can see the sun is uh, still quite a way above the horizon. There's the horizon there. And the center point of the sun is still quite above it. Now, when that sun was coming in through the left-hand windows, it was impacting on the right-hand side of the aircraft. Now, you can see two things I want you to notice here. One is that the light, the top part of the light here, is significantly above the equivalent part of the window where the sun was coming in. Now the aircraft was level as you'll see in the uh, the video and yet the sun angle is coming upwards so the sun must have been below the aircraft. We we're at 43,000 feet. If the sun was 3,000 miles up on a flat earth there is no way you're going to get rays of sun angling upward through the left window and striking higher than the right window. It's just not possible. Even the perspective cannot explain that. So the reality is the sun was actually below our physical level. We're 43,000 feet, so the sun's not 3,000 feet above a flat earth at all. Otherwise you could not get that sun angle. Now the other thing I want you to notice is the relative position of the sunlight. You'll see it's lined up fairly well with the windows on the opposite side of the aircraft. Okay, there's a little bit of distortion there, but that's because the, the fuselage is curved like that. And, um, but what I want you to notice is that it's fairly close. You know, it's fairly close. Now, if we were to get down and look between those two rays of light back towards the incoming windows, look at that. Look at the angle. This is exactly the illusion you get with the crepuscular rays, and that's uh, why some people are, are easily confused into believing that the sun is a lot closer than it is. Looking at that angle there, you would imagine the source of light is literally just outside the aircraft. And it's not, obviously. It's, um, it's a long way away. It was beyond the horizon. So even though the rays of light look angled, they are in fact parallel because they were striking the, uh, the opposite windows on the other side of the aircraft at the same position. Anyway, I'll play this video. You'll see the, uh, the GPS is working fine. You'll see the light exactly like this. Now what that missed was is that's the disinsection. Australia has fairly strict quarantine rules. And so we have to do uh, what's called the disinsection before we, we arrive. And that was just me down the back in the cabin spraying the, uh, spraying the disinsection spray. And uh, I noticed these um, light beams, so I took the opportunity to get some video. The other thing you'll notice is uh, I made a, a few short videos of um, the sun setting. And you can compare that to the uh, direction of west in the aircraft compass. And you'll see that it was setting significantly south of due west.
sun as it's setting and it's still quite a way above the horizon but uh, we're flying completely level and if you have a look at the top part of the window here where the sun is actually impacting on the other side of the aircraft is well above that so the sun angle is going up like that so the sun is actually below our level but it's still well above the horizon.